It's fitting that we get to the spooky chapters now that it's October. All right, so last time we left off, Red had just won the bike race and he had was heading toward Lavender Town. He has now arrived in Lavender Town and of course, Lavender, Lavender Town is a spooky place. Um, so he gets there and something seems off. Uh, the people around him are ignoring him and he finally runs into an old man, Mr. Fuji. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't remember if he says out loud who he is, but I think it's Mr. Fuji. Um, he, he runs into an old man who then explains that there are some creepy stuff going on. There, uh, people are afraid of ghosts, and they, that's why they stop trusting other people, so they kind of keep to themselves. And it all has to do with the tower that lo that is located in town. Ghosts are going on. Creepy stuff happens around there. And it's scared everybody. Scared everybody. Boo. Um, and so Red's interested. But he, that, he doesn't get totally interested until he learns that another boy had shown up in town. To, and went to investigate the tower. And that boy is Blue. We haven't seen Blue for a number of chapters, so I'm interested to see where this goes, and it seems to be going somewhere pretty cool. Um, so Red's like, or Blue is there, then that's like, really, he got there first? But the real kicker is that Blue arrived a short while before Red, went to the tower, and has not returned since. So something's up. So. Red is instantly, I gotta go, I gotta go see what's going on. So he goes to the tower, and obviously it's creepy and dark and scary, and he ends up running into a Psyduck, but not a real Psyduck, or at least not a, not a living Psyduck. It's a ghost creepy Psyduck with teeth for some reason, and no eyes, and it freaks him out, and he kind of like fights it off or whatever, and... He's just freaking out, and he eventually runs into Blue, but something's wrong with Blue. Him, him and his now Charz, or uh, not Charizard, now him and his now Charmeleon, are there's something wrong with them. They both have like kind of glossed out eyes, and there there's something definitely off about them. And that's basically where the chapter ends. They they both look ominous, and that's like. It's like they're possessed. So I'm actually really looking forward to the next chapter, which is actually, I think, the last chapter in the volume. Um, so hopefully it goes out with a bang. Um, I'm super excited. This chapter was a great setup for whatever is going to happen. Um, Lavender Town is, is, has always been a really creepy place. They, they kind of... Part of what makes Lavender Town creepy in general, I mean, other than it just being, oh, it's a ghost place, is, of course, the music that goes along with it in the games. Um, not so scary in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I don't know whether it was like that in regular Gold and Silver, but it's a little less creepy and like ear piercing. Either way, Lavender Town has always been a source of really creepy stuff. And I'm really, really interested to see where this goes um, with Blue being uh, possessed, maybe? Uh, I remember I, I said a few, uh, maybe maybe more than a few, but like a number of uh, reviews back that I didn't want to see Blue until I saw some character development and there was a real reason for him to be there. This could be it. Something is going on and as strong as Blue seems to be, he's apparently lost or at least something's up. And... I'm wondering how Red's going to figure this out because it's at this point, he's not just going to be fighting, like battling Blue because it's, oh, they're rivals. Something's wrong. He's going to get attacked by Blue. And that's, that's something, that's something cool. This, this chapter, I was not expecting to see like Psyduck in the sense that like that creepy, like, I don't know. They, Pokemon has always like kind of strayed away from like 
really make Pokemon as a whole as as a whole series is always kind of straight away from making their characters look ugly I guess in a sense I mean it, it, it sometimes they do some weird stuff but like they always try to keep it like the characters the Pokemon specifically are untouchable for the most part they can be changed a little bit like some external things but they're still those Pokemon and they, they don't change but in this chapter you see like a Psyduck with like a zombie it's just a freaking zombie <laughs> it's got like I don't know why do Psyduck have teeth in general I don't know but like it's, it's got no eyes its body's like cracking up and it, it just it's not just oh here's a wild Psyduck Red gets attacked, and he has to fend it off, which doesn't seem to be com completely, like, useful. Like, I think uh, at one point he has Bulbasaur use a razor leaf or whatever, and it just goes right through Psyduck's head. Um, the whole Lavender Town Tower uh, is such an interesting place, because it, it, it brings... Okay, so another thing that Pokemon, as a, in general... They touch on, but they don't typically go into deep, like, into depth with, is the Pokemon lifespan. Death in Pokemon, whether it be human or the Pokemon themselves or whatever. They always kind of, like, skirt around it and, like, especially, like, in the show, they kind of, like, just... Oh, my dog's barking. Um, they, 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 they don't explicitly say death a lot. So whenever they show something that's, like... This is clearly, this is clearly a place of death and sadness. It's, it's really interesting to see where they go with it because, again, they don't, they don't touch on it very often. They, they've shown some old po some older Pokemon, um, and then occasionally will touch on, oh, Pokemon's gone. But, like, they never say, oh, it's passed away or it's dead, um... And for good reason, because you don't really want to associate Pokemon... You don't want to associate the story and the characters with uh, a, an aspect of, of death where it's just like... Why focus on the bad when you can focus on all the good? And But I think death is such an important integral thing to life that it's so interesting to see them touch on that. And... Going further than that, not even going just, oh, Pokemon, Pokemon that have died, or, are, are, uh, are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're respected and, and, uh, prayed to, I guess, um, in this tower as, like, a graveyard site. Um, going further than that, you have zombies now? Like, that's, that's super cool, and I, I'm kind of glad that I got to this point now that we're in October, because this is perfect for October. I know it's probably just going to be, like, this couple of chapters that, like, focus on this, and then we'll move on to the next whatever story arc, but I'm glad that, like, we started off with this, because this is a, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, chapter. Um, again, and it ends on a, on a, another cliffhanger. I, I will say right now that I, Good chapter does not have to end on a cliffhanger. It could be, it could be completely, it could be its own separate story, but be satisfying. This was very much a setup chapter, but I found it very, very interesting due to all the content that was in it, and it ha and it has a uh, cliffhanger, which I'm super excited to see, and I'm I'm gonna read that and then get back to you guys as far as I what I think about that. Um, but I think, I don't know, I just lost my train of thought, but I, I like the chapter a lot, is what I'm saying. It, it, it didn't have a, it wasn't like a crazy ton of information, but it was enough to get your brain thinking, and if I had been reading this at night, maybe I would have been scared. <laughs> Probably not, but I, I enjoyed it a lot, um. I, I like the aspect. I like them showing, showing death. I feel like it's not really touched upon enough. You don't have, you don't have to have stories upon stories upon stories of death, but like death and ghosts and Pokemon dying and whatever. But like, touch on it. Like, be real about it. Um, 
Not that zombies are real, but whatever. It's a, it's a step in the right direction. Um, but yeah, so I like this chapter. That's uh, that's about all I got to say about this chapter. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, did you enjoy this chapter? What do you think about them touching on death and the that ass and that like theme? Um, Lavender Town's a perfect place to focus on that kind of thing. Um, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It's greatly appreciated. Let me let me know if you guys enjoy this video, the these kinds of videos, and then I can keep continue keep going. Um, and make sure to subscribe because if you do enjoy this video then you might enjoy all my future videos and past videos and yeah <laughs> so i will be leaving you here we have one more chapter for this volume i will have it up this week i will see you guys next time bye bye